Okay, so I'm back with another video. Um, today I am talking about um, the new Star Wars game that's just come out called Star Wars Outlaws. Um, I've managed to have a little bit of a go on it. Um, just basically the first hour or so I've played. I've not played loads of it, but just to give my sort of two cents on it. Um, like, uh, this game has had a lot of controversy within like the geek community the Star Wars community it's had a lot of hate a lot of negativity and this is a problem with his stuff because some of the time um, you know it feels like every Star Wars project that comes out these days has a lot of hate for it or a lot of them do and some of that time the you know the hate or the whatever is people going on is, is, is legit and there's, there's a reason why so for example with the Acolyte talking about the Acolyte over and over but um with the acolyte, I mean, there was a lot of hate um, for it that wasn't founded on anything other than just people not being very nice about stuff and the diversity angle and everything. But also, there was a lot of genuine criticism of it that was just like, it's not a good show. And, and that was the problem with the acolyte, really, was you can say what you want, but unfortunately, because it wasn't that great, and there were a lot of problems with it, at least in my opinion, you can't really defend it on that level. Like, there's nothing wrong with the cast. It's not about the diversity, but it's about it's not actually good, unfortunately. Uh, and and a kind of a similar thing with this Star Wars Outlaws game. So there's a lot of controversy over the look of the female character, saying the female character looked ugly, she looked like a man, uh, she wasn't attractive. Like, why have they made a character look like that? And all this other stuff. And I mean, I was like, well. I don't know why it is a problem, like, really. I don't see it because, yes, most of the time when you have a female protagonist, they're, like, ridiculously attractive. And there's nothing really necessarily wrong with that. Like, people like attractive people. Um, but equally, when you look at it from the other side, like, imagine being a girl or being... Not necessarily being a girl, being anybody, but... You can imagine some people finding that a bit distasteful, not distasteful, but it's nice to have a character that maybe for once doesn't look like they've just like, they're like some supermodel, you know, they just look like a regular character. And when I look at the character model, when I look at like the game I played, and I don't know if they've changed the character model since all this fuss a little tiny bit, but to me, the female character doesn't look anything like a man. I'm like, she just looks like a girl, like, a person in a world like I don't think you can have both you know I think there's room in the world to have both of these things uh, it's fine to have a female character that's really attractive and looks like a supermodel or something like something like Bayonetta where they look basically ridiculous and it's also fine to have this uh, I don't see why you can't have both and in this case I don't see there's any reason to be such so upset about that I think that's really stupid um I think the bigger reason I was concerned about this game was because Ubisoft games, I'm not a huge fan of them, um, and they're starting to kind of be fairly widely criticised just because they're very unoriginal, they don't take any risks anymore. Like the best, the last good Ubisoft game I played was Assassin's Creed 2, which was absolutely ages ago. So I think there was a fair criticism or fair worry about all the things to do with it, like, is it just going to be boring in terms of the gameplay? Is it just going to be like a... Because Ubisoft has sort of become famous for these kind of open world games. There's tons of things to do. There's always check checkbox activities to do. And it's really dull. And it can become repetitive. And the games are too long. And, you know, like with Assassin's Creed, some of them, and, and Far, Far Cry, they just feel like reiterations of the same thing, etc., etc. So there was a concern it was going to be like that. And that was a legit gameplay concern, which I think was fine. The thing about the female character, I think, was just a load of nonsense, if I'm honest. I don't, I don't know what all that is about. But, um... So I played it for a little bit, and it's kind of in between. Like I don't see it as dreadful. Like I, I I've obviously just haven't bought it. Um, just played it on the subscription, but it expecting you know from a lot of the neg strong negative reaction I've seen, videos saying how bad it is. I expected immediately for it to be some horror show dreadful like oh this is so bad like right from me off really cringy and and it's good like i was like the the graphics are incredible like it does look like 
a next gen game and I know that graphics aren't everything but if it does look great like I think visually it's on point um, and the cutscenes I think were good uh, the story was well done so far um, nothing amazingly groundbreaking like that's where it is it's sort of in that middle area of just okay to good and it may be when I play it more, it dips into bad because I can imagine maybe if you play it longer, it gets a bit boring. I don't know, but I've only played it, like I say, for the first hour or so. But I've played it enough to get the grips of the basic mechanics of it. You know, like there's a bit of sneaking around, a bit of shooting, a bit of like platforming. And it's extremely linear. Like you, you can't interact with anything. You can't interact with any environment or anything like that. Like you can't like hit people or punch people. I think... I think what people want for the game is more like a GTA version of Star Wars, which is not what it is. But I found it enjoyable. Like for the time I played it, honestly, say like I I actually think it's one of the better Ubisoft games I've played since forever. Like I can't remember one I've played where I was really that into it for a long time. The Assassin's Creed games kind of lost me after a bit. The first two were brilliant, and then after that, I got a bit like yeah, I checked out after couple of more games I never went back I never really oh done Far Cry I think I might review the Far Cry games at some point um but yeah I think it was all right um it was just okay it was just fun. I found it fun to play if I'm honest but not incredible like not groundbreaking not amazing but it's just like comfort food like it's a video game version of comfort food like just something comforting about it like, even the fact that the AI and the enemies is ridiculously poor, like, they just run into a room and you just shoot them in the head and another one runs in and shoots them in the head. Like, I don't mind it. I'm like, it's, it's not it's not great in a way, but at the same time, I'm like, it's just fine. Like, I don't I don't need it to be anything else, but it is. I, yeah, so my first impression, I mean, I'll, I'll maybe do an update on it as I play a bit more, I think. It takes me a long time to play anything these days, because obviously I'm a, I'm a dad as well. So I think what I will do with these these kind of things uh, is just review the first couple of hours, and then at a certain point in time, when I finally get a bit further in, I will do like an update, and then when I finish it, I'll do another update. So it may be a long time before you're getting those other videos. And maybe I don't always finish everything either, because it depends on the game, it depends on stuff. Um, there's a lot of JRPGs I want to do reviews for, with like, Final Fantasy series and stuff like that. So, you know, um, those will have to take that form. That's the only way I can really do it. I don't have the time to just sit and plug through like a 50 hour JRPG in one go and do a review of it. Um, so, yeah, it was okay. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of hate videos for it online. And to be honest, I don't know why. Um, as of yet, like, there could be some huge thing with it. That I've not found, I've not got to yet, but so far so good, and I'm quite pleasantly surprised. I enjoyed it because I didn't necessarily think I would, and it's one of those things where I do think the the fuss around it or the negativity around it seems a bit overblown. Like one of the silly things I saw in previews for it, which I've not got up to a bit of the game, was um, like if there's a point where someone throws a a thermal detonator at the main between the main characters legs and it, and it explodes and goes off and she's just thrown backwards she's not injured she doesn't lose a leg she doesn't like that is a bit silly like I think if anyone knows in Star Wars a film of Death Nights it's like a basically it's like you're not going to get up from that like never mind <laughs> just be thrown back from it you'd be dead if it landed between your legs you'd just be dead your legs would be blown off so that was a bit silly but I've not got that bit in the game but I've seen that so stuff like that I'm like, that's not great but it's not terrible either you know um, and and I think the cutscenes and the dialogue was better than I thought like I, I, it wasn't so terrible you know and again it's not the best I've ever seen but it's also not the worst so yeah I think it's pretty good I'm going to keep playing it, it you know I, I like it enough to carry on playing it after the first hour or so um, so yeah I'll update a video later but for now I would say it, it's been good I like it <laughs>